All right, welcome to the worst 1500 game you've ever seen. This is a daily game. I was like, and this game is just an absolute disgrace. It's an embarrassment to chess. It's an embarrassment to me. And it's an embarrassment to the chess rating system that I'm rated this high, okay? Look at this game. So uh, we have this weird opening. And as you can see, chess.com doesn't even like the opening. It just says, this is the opening. I played it zero times with a 0% win rate, okay? This opening is just so janky, it doesn't even like show up on chess.com. It's not even like the cow or the bong cloud or something goofy like that. So anyway, he plays c5, just going for the most hyper modern setup ever. Um, d5 advancing, uh, he pushes pawn, and then boom, captures on passant. You gotta do it, okay? You see on passant, it's forced, all right? You have to play on passant, all right? Just, you just have to, that's the rules. Uh, and then now I'm gonna go up, go try to set myself up for this tactic that I see in every single puzzle rush, where you play something like queen checks here, pawn blocks, sacrifice the knight, and then when this pawn takes it, you take the rook, right? Just awesome tactic, okay? So then I take uh, then I take this this knight with the bishop because the knight was defending this square, which I can use for the the uh, the queen check to set up my little tactic here and boom I execute the tactic but it's a huge mistake because all he has to do is block and then if I try to do the tactic the rook is actually defended by the bishop this is just a horrible horrible blunder from me just that all that puzzle rush just goes for nothing because the rook is defended once that g pawn moves but instead of that he moves his king and that gives me a little bit of life um, this queen check isn't that good, but I figured might as well get my queen out of danger. Moves the king into more danger, and I check with the knight, um, because I thought my knight was under, like, under attack, and I thought I had to do it when I could have just checked with the rook. Um, and then I make a blunder here, and now he's fine, even though his king's in the open. But then, boom, he makes a blunder, and it's mate in two, and I find the move. Queen, king d6 is forced, and I execute... Queenside castles, not checkmate at all. In fact, knight to c4 was checkmate because the knight also covers this square and that's the king's only escape square um, because this square is covered by the queen. This square obviously is covered by the bishop and the rook controls this whole column, right? But instead, or actually the, the rook wouldn't be, even be there because I wouldn't have castled yet, but the pawn would have controlled that square and, and the other knight. So it would have been checkmate, but I wanted a queenside castle with check because I'm going for style points, right? We had to en passant, we have to queenside castle with check. Okay, that's the rules. Now, uh, king moves up, and I try to put some pressure on the queen. For some reason, I didn't like g3. I definitely looked at it, and the whole point of playing g3 is to put a mating net for the king because there's no stopping f4, which is checkmate. If you look, the king has nowhere to go. The rook covers this whole column, the pawn covers these two squares, and the knight covers the pawn. So uh, the king just has nowhere to go, and uh, I decided let's just go for some tempo. So uh, he moves his queen out of the way. The computer wanted him to just sacrifice the queen and just play down the rest of the game, so at least he survives. So now I'm going for the mating net. Um, attacks my queen, and boom, execute the checkmate. And that was a 40% accuracy game. Awful.